gang welcome back to the channel i hope you're all having a beautiful day today we have a video by plot twist and this video is called why dan schneider was fired by nickelodeon yeah boo let's get straight into it you did Twist. Dan Schneider is an hey, American one of the television reasons right there, producer, man. screenwriter, Fucking and creep. actor who's created several hit shows for Nickelodeon, including All That, The Amanda Show, Drake Bro, you know what's Joe. crazy, man? Like this show right here, too, bro. I'm not going to be able to watch these shows anymore. Because just knowing what they went through at such a young age and shit, it's fucked up, man. Zoe 101, really iCarly, Victorious, Henry Danger, Game Shakers, and The Adventures of Kid Danger. On March 26, 2018, Nickelodeon announced that it was no longer associated with him. Let's take a look at his time in Nickelodeon and figure out if we can pinpoint the Jake moments that too, ultimately led to his dismissal. But before we do that, be sure to subscribe to the channel and hit the bell icon to be notified of more videos in the future. Victorious did a scene-by-scene -scene reenactment of the popular 90s movie, The Breakfast Club, and most of the episode was harmless. In one scene, Tori reveals that she has a secret talent, which turns out to be that she can use a like, bow Like, what the fuck was up with this fool in feet, man? Like, even in Drake and Josh, remember when that fool had the, the potato gun and he shot his fucking foot or some shit like that? He was always doing some shit with feet. Like, it was fucking weird, man. Her like, feet. This follows a pretty graphic shot of her feet. Now that After I think about it, bro, it's like talents, so fucking everyone weird. Everyone starts getting into a fit of laughter. They're all rolling on the floor, and Rob ends up with face planting on Tori's stomach. I remember stomach. the fucking episode with the fish, too, when they were putting their feet in the fish. ...is definitely why Dan Schneider no longer works at a network aimed at youngsters. <sighs> It might come as no surprise to Nickelodeon viewers that Dan Schneider has an unhealthy obsession with feet. In one Victoria's scene, he made Victoria Justice spread ketchup on her feet and then turned on music so she could dance. A good part of the scene is just Tori's feet moving around with ketchup all over them. Fucking Nothing about weirdo, this scene bro. is humorous, so why didn't it get cut out? So, if you checked out my slap page earlier this week, you'll see that I posted an update saying that if you leave me a comment telling me anything you want to see me do as a performer, like sing, dance, tell a joke, whatever, I'll make a video doing it for you. Should we see what you got? Okay. Tori, please pour ketchup all over your feet. Okay, what is wrong with people? Just do it. Nah, what's wrong That's with fucking performing. Schneider? What the fuck's up Come with that one, man? Just do it. Yeah, so it's performing. But... <laughs> Cat 
does plenty of ridiculous things, but most of the times she was used as a tool to make inappropriate jokes and laugh it off as her being unaware of her actions. In one scene, she's making a vlog for her Slap account and she tried to fit her toe in her mouth. This follows a montage of her trying to fit it in properly. At one like, point, the, she started uh, to bite her big toenail. The fact that it took so long for Nickelodeon to sack Dan Schneider despite him pulling something like this off a decade ago is an embarrassment. I'd say low odds, right? Sometimes I call my hair dryer baby. <laughs> like, hello, baby. Who's my hair dryer? You are. Have you ever tried to get your whole big toe in your mouth? Check this out. This is this is crazy, man. In a new segment of Cat's Random Thoughts, she decides that it would be fun to figure out if a teenage girl could drink water upside down. She then lies down on her bed with her neck hanging down from the side of the bed and I, tries to fuck, drink man? water from a water bottle. She spills water all over herself this while he fucking... tries to pass it as a classic cat mishap. A teenage girl wearing revealing clothes and then getting all wet is an extremely with the inappropriate fucking potato image for a children's television fuck. show. Dude, this is the cliche used by many adult You're films, thinking. and Dan Schneider weaseling it into Victorious is a scandalous act. Everything's fine. I bop, do, bop, do, oh, we got do. the feet too, huh? <sighs> Not just the, the toe Sometimes sucking, you got the fucking the potato, and then you got her with the feet. From a potato. I'm thirsty. Hollywood has a major problem with promoting the wrong ideas about children, and Dan Schneider is guilty of the offense. In a crossover episode of iCarly and Victorious, Sam and Freddy have a segment where they bathe pets, and today was Cat's turn. Not the animal cat, but Cat Valentine. They made Ariana get into a full bathtub, and then Sam and Freddy rubbed her and cleaned her. The actresses were children at the time, and one might ignore one or two incidents of showing teenagers they take off her shoes for light, but we can't deny that Dan Schneider seems to do it intentionally. Upsets me. Dirt. It upsets him. If it's filthy, I don't like it. If it's filthy, he don't like it. Segment which we call I Bathe It. This morning I was taking out the garbage and I found a dirty cat. A dirty cat. So we're gonna bathe that cat. The shows Dan Schneider created might have adults in them, but they were still marketed to preview best in children who had no business listening to Josh referencing whatever giraffes do on Animal Planet. Children definitely did not need to see the parents making innuendos of Josh's reference. Granted that a lot of children wouldn't even understand what was happening, but they might start asking questions after the scene or use the dialogue in a situation they don't fully comprehend. I would say out of all the shows, this was probably you know, my favorite show. Like, oh, remember that show on the Animal Channel where the female giraffe wiped the male giraffe? So she started okay. thinking, I gotta go direct our video. Wanna watch the Animal Channel? Where's the remote? <laughs> This one happened in the pilot episode of Drake and Josh and should have raised a lot of eyes back then, but I guess it was a different time. Drake enters the basement and finds his stepbrother wearing a yellow dress and a wig. He starts screaming and calls for his mom. First of all, cross-dressing shouldn't have been used as a comedy tool. Secondly, Drake calls him yeah, Queen true. Latifah, which was a stereotypical black woman's name and was used as a microaggression. Dan Schneider managed to be both racist and ignorant of the struggles faced by cross-dressers. 
Like, I'm not gonna lie, when I was watching that shit at a young age, like, I was still probably like 8 or 9, I thought that shit was funny. But when you get older, bro, and you start to realize the shit that he thought was funny, like, with all the feet and, then, like, this and everything, bro, like, you start to realize, man, that this fool is literally sick. Because he During took advantage episode, of I Shock America, the business. iCarly gang travels to New York to make an appearance on Jimmy Fallon's talk show. Gibby's luggage gets lost at the airport, and he's forced to buy pants on the street. During their performance on the show, his pants get loose and fall off. He gets exposed on live television. Having a minor be naked in front of a live audience is the kind of sick humor that got Dan Schneider fired from Nickelodeon, and for the sake of the kids, we hope it stays that way. Way. How could you dumb airline lose my luggage? It's probably on its way to Brazil. Don't say that. Hey, it's a plane. <laughs> like, I even fucking made spaghetti tacos once, too, too. Like, I was so in love with these shows, man. Toe sucking, Three, potatoes. Two. Hey there, I'm Carly. Sam. What do you got now? If man? you happened to catch us last night on Late Night with Jimmy Fallon, then you probably saw a little more Gibby than you needed to. Or wanted to. Never buy pants on the street. Nah. Another incident when Dan Schneider shamelessly wrote a script that involved teenagers showing off their feet. In a vlog, Sam and Carly lie down and just wiggle their feet in front of the camera. They also have tiny faces made on their toes. Observe! Hey, this is pissing me off, man. This wraps up another video which we hope you guys enjoyed. And if you did, do let I us can't, I can't watch anymore, man. If you're young and you like you still watch that shit, you're not gonna really understand until you're older, like how sick that food was or is. But Yeah man, that's crazy. Late